Connecting your chatbot through Snatchbot to Facebook Messenger allows you to access one of the most widely used and powerful messaging platforms. So here's how you do it. From the dashboard, select My Bots, then select the chatbot that you'd like to connect to Facebook Messenger. In this case, I'll use HealthBud. From there, once I have that chatbot selected, I'll select Channels from the left-hand menu, and then Facebook at the top here. Now, it'll ask you to log in to the Facebook account that you'd like to connect to the chatbot. So I'll do that, and that'll pop open this dialogue window where you can edit settings like the different pages that it'll connect to, as well as permissions. So now it's linking and it's linked. Now you can see that Snatchbot's layout has changed somewhat and allows you to choose the different pages that you would like to connect it to. In this case, I've got it connected to Jobot 2.0. Now there are a few options along here in the top menu that I'll take you through. First is the greeting message. As you can see, this is where you specify what you want the bot to say when people open it up. You can edit a few different things like the user's first name, last name, or full name, or use none of them depending on how you want to speak to your users. Next, you have Messenger Extensions, and a few things here. First, you can submit your bot to the Messenger Discovery section, which allows others to actually find it a little bit more easily. And finally, the Send to Messenger plugin, something that allows you to move users from a standard web page to your Facebook Messenger chatbot with ease. It gives you a few options for the button that you want to use, as well as a code snippet. And finally, you'll see this in a few of the other features as well domain whitelisting as that is required. So here you can enter the domain or domains that you need to whitelist. Next is the checkbox plugin, which is relatively simple and allows users to opt into receiving communications from your chatbot on a web page. You do this by adding the domain, the login, the opt-in information, and then you can control things like the size and the different colors and the formatting. Next, you have your text snippet, and once again, domain whitelisting. And finally, you have the customer chat plugin, which allows you to create and add the Messenger chatbot itself to your actual web page. And in this case, it doesn't use a standard web chat. This will allow you to actually incorporate the Messenger platform so that you do get all of its features and you do get a consistent visual look. Here, you can change things like the theme color, the text that'll show when someone's logged in and can answer, text when someone's not logged in, whether you want your greeting to show, to hide, or to fade. And finally, things like how long you want to delay the greeting. And then once again, you have the code snippet and the domain whitelisting. And with all that, you should be able to be up and running and having your chatbot ready for deployment. So with this, I will select the page that I want to use official. I'll deploy. And now I'm published and can access the chatbot in Facebook Messenger. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial.